Yes, uh, mm -hmm. claiming that there's a local drug that can cure um, HIV AIDS. Mm -hmm. Is there any form of local medicine that can cure AIDS? <laughs> no. Not that I know of. Mm. Scientifically, there's no medicine like that. We have medicines or herbal preparations mm. that, I mean, are claimed to or alleged to boost immune system. Mm -hmm. So boosting somebody's immune system is different from curing right. HIV. There are the two things that we need to be careful with. For a known herbal preparation, you know everything, it has to be scientifically proven mm -hmm. that this herbal preparation, once we take it, viruses are cleared, it tests negative and all that. Mm. As, as we sit here, I am not aware and there's nothing scientifically proven mm. to cure. We have some that are immune boosters. Mm. They are not a cure for mm. HIV. Right, also okay. spiritually, can it be cured spiritually? I have heard stories where pastors say <laughs> that, look, this person came in with HIV AIDS yeah. and mm. has, been, has been cured. Can mm. it be cured spiritually? And not that <laughs> I know of. You know, spiritual things are a bit difficult to, to discuss. Mm. We don't see them. Right. And you see, usually you get people, clients coming in and telling you that, um, okay, I had a dream and I was injected. That's how I got it. And I went to the pastor and he says mm. he's taking it off and all that. What I will tell people who have such beliefs, beliefs are things that you can't take away from. Mm. And also pastors or spiritual fathers of people are people that are very dear to their hearts that mm. if we really want to achieve our, uh, our NR8 epidemic by 2030, we need to get them all involved. Mm. But I'll tell people that, look, Usually what we know growing up is that spiritual things are things that usually are even difficult to diagnose. Mm. So if you are lucky or fortunate and yours, at least you go for HIV test and it, you think it's spiritual and then they, we are able to tell that you are HIV positive mm. through the testing, just thank God, let's do the physical because it has manifested physically. Mm. Take your, I mean, access us, I mean, come to the facility, let's put you on treatment. Even if you take your medicines, you can now take them to your pastor to pray over them. Right. Uh -huh. That will be taking care of the spiritual aspect. And then you will also be taking, doing the physical bit. I see. Okay. Caroline, let, let's quickly and, talk about yeah. this before we wrap up. There's something mm. called index testing. Yeah. What does it mean? Yeah, index testing is, is a form of testing using the index client. The index client is the one who comes first and mm -hmm. tests HIV positive. Right. Once that person tests positive, you now want to find out, look for that person's sexual partner or partners, okay? Whether it's, it's a woman, does she have, she have children, okay? Because it's the likelihood of getting a partner of a, an HIV positive, mm -hmm. being positive, and the children positive, is higher than just going to a community and saying that everybody come and know your, do your, I mean, do the test. Okay, so we pass through one partner, the first one, we get the husband tested, we get the other boyfriends tested, mm -hmm. and then any of them that test positive, we mm -hmm. use them to, an, as another index testing, if they also have other partners, you know, it's like a chain. Okay, so that mm. we get all of those. And then children, because mm. if it's a mother, maybe she didn't know and she gave birth and the child is positive, through the mother we can get. Mm. We give him a child who is admitted, we do the test and that test, child tests positive. Mm. That child becomes the indexed client. Right. You now want to get the parents to come and test mm. and the other siblings mm. and all that. Right, so, so 